This is Prince Hanley coming to you today with 100,000 watts of pure love. The voice to Israel and for Israel. I want to talk to you today about some current things, Israel, that are happening in the news that pertain to you, that are happening right now. Be on the alert and trust the Holy One of Israel. In a news report this last week, the EU hails Israel for enthusiastic cooperation. Israeli-European economic ties are growing as the parties seek to speedily integrate the strong and expanding Israeli economy into the huge European market, according to EU officials. It's interesting to note that the preface of the new Constitution for Europe states that its purpose is to, number one, bring citizens closer to the European design, number two, organize politics, and number three, develop a model in the new world order. In a previous podcast that I did titled Babylon the Harlot Exposed, that was around March 18th of 2008, we discussed the scripture shows that after God set apart the nation of Israel as a separate people, there would be seven empires that would be prominent in world history before Messiah returns. These seven empires are as follows. Number one, Egypt. Number two, Assyria. Number three, Babylon. That's the second Babylonian empire, not the one under Nimrod. Number four, Medo-Persia. Number five, Greece. Number six, Rome. And number seven, a revised Roman empire from the geographic confines of the old Roman empire. You might want to study the show notes of that particular podcast. The seventh empire, the geographic confines of the old Roman Empire, will be composed of much of modern-day Europe, the Mediterranean countries, including North Africa, and part of the Middle East. And it will be the sling from which the anti-Messiah, or the false Messiah, will be thrust. The revived Roman Empire, the empire from the geographic confines of the old Roman Empire, is now in existence under the backing and support of the European Union, the EU. This super empire will form the basis for the last one world order, the new world order. It will likely have member Islamic nations in concurrent control. Islam is the number one force in the drive to one world government, and here's why. Islamic terrorism will be the active agent, the catalyst, to frighten people into wanting a one-world governing body. Check this out, Israel. Things have been prepared for 60 years, since 1948, for the coming world dictator, the leader of the New World Order. In 1948, three things happened. Number one, the establishment or the rebirth of the state of Israel. Number two, the first meeting that would ultimately lead to the establishment of the European Union. And number three, the formation of the World Council of Churches. Let's talk about number two. The EU will form the basis politically and militarily for the new world government and its leader, the anti-Messiah, or the false Messiah, that Daniel the prophet spoke about. Let's talk about number three, the formation of the World Council of Churches. The WCC will build the framework for the one world or new world religious system and its leader, the false prophet. 
the World Council of Churches aligning itself with the false religions of the world, Buddhism, Islam, Hinduism, New Age, etc., will be diametrically opposed to the worship of the one God, Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel. Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. In the Tanakh, the prophet Daniel tells that when Mashiach returns, there will be an alliance of ten kings or regions. You can read that in Daniel chapter 2, verse 44. The New World Order, organized from the confines of the old Roman Empire, will have ten key members, or nations or regions. It's interesting to note that the following groups, all who promote a one-world alliance, divide up the world into ten regions or ten spheres. The Trilateral Commission, the Council on Foreign Relations, the Bilderbergers, and the Club of Rome. While European officials seek commercial ties for economic reasons with Israel, the bilateral discussion with Israel also includes issues of Palestinian mobility. Israeli government ministries are working together on integration and hosting European experts on different issues, including data protection, in order to bring Israel's governance and economic systems to European levels. Watch out, Israel, because when you start sharing personal and business transaction data with the EU, they will be able to track you even more efficiently, individually, and more efficiently than Hitler did. You might want to listen to the show I did four podcasts ago titled How Big Brother is Ready to Track You. That was done on approximately March 17, 2008. Remember, Israel, it's not the European Union that gives you power to get well, and neither is it your own economic acumen. But you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is He that gives you power to get well, that He may establish His covenant which He swore to your fathers. You can read that in the Torah, in Deuteronomy 8.18. Israel, you don't need the EU, the UN, the USA, the New World Order. You need only the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel. Trust Him today. If you're not sure you know Him, then pray this prayer. Pray, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, if Yeshua is really my Mashiach, then reveal Him to me, and I will accept Him into my life. Baruch haba b'shem Adonai. My friend, trust the Holy One of Israel. Only He will give you the strength and the wisdom and the prowess to go through the days ahead. King David said, God is my strength and my power, and He makes my way perfect. <laughs> 